did. I'm paying for this for the monster. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Jerry Ann with Scrap and Stamp Creations .blogspot .com. and um, I am an independent right. consultant with Close to My Heart. And tonight I am going to be um, giving a class to do a trifold mini album. Um, I'm going to use the Victory Paper Pack. Um, and um, that is on page 33 of the catalog. Martha, your catalog will go out tomorrow. So it is some really, really cute paper. Actually, let me get to the paper page. You can kind of see. Um, it's got some really cute paper. It's very outdoorsy, guysy kind of thing. So I thought this would make a great project for a Father's Day kind of card, mini album, something like that that could sit on a bookcase, a shelf, um, that kind of thing. So that is what I'm doing. Um, this evening, this is actually, um, this is my very first one that I made, which was a Valentine's Day theme, and I think I made it a couple of years ago. Hold on, I need to get rid of this window. There we go. And, um, so basically what you do is untie it here, and it opens up into a pull-out mini album. So basically it is two of the trifold cards. Here I'll show you guys um, again. So here's the front and then when you pull it out you get kind of flippy flappy kind of things and it kind of sits up really nice and then the flippy flappy over here on this side and then there's a picture of my family here in the middle so it's kind of a fun little project it's really not that hard um, I promise I did put the scoring directions and everything on the blog I'm not really going to use a flower because I haven't got any manly kind of flowers yet although my husband really does like the flowers that I've been making um, since I found Christine and the glitter and the Cherry Lynn dies and that so I'm very excited that way so this is the this is one and um, this is one and then in order <laughs> I'm excited I'm not using glitter tonight either and then just to make sure all the dimensions were right this is one that I whipped up in an hour Tony can tell you I was on Skype with her showed her the paper originally and then just kind of whipped it up. It is the Echo Park mini album collection called 4th of July and um, it comes with stickers and cutouts and things like that and so this is the one that I just whipped up to make sure the directions were good and so opening it up you can kind of see that there are some nice little stickers and it's a 4th of July kind of piece. So again, you've got a photo spot here, a photo spot here. Let's see if I can get them in there. So you've got a photo spot, some different things. Yes, I know, Tony. Huh. Um, but anyway, it, again, it's a really nice little kind of um, album kind of thing just for some cute little photos. Um, it sits really nice on a package you know on a on a table or whatever so all right so and then I have three giveaways tonight I'm gonna adjust my light here a little bit Oop. let's see hold on oh the problem is is that this light isn't on all right Okay. All right. Ah. So, this is what we're going to get started with this evening. And that, so what you're going to need is you're going to need two pieces of cardstock for your base. 
So yeah, I'm going to do three. Um, I have some Pemberley flowers. And then I sat and made a bunch of flowers the other night. 58 actually to be um, exact. Some of them are with the Cherry Lynn dies. Some of them are with punches and everything. So that was cool. Some of them are glittered. Some of them are not. So I have two that are using the Dottie for You paper. Yeah, 58. <laughs> and then the other is using the Pemberley collection from Close to My Heart. So these are all made with Close to My Heart things. Um, in the back are little... Um, uh, project ideas um, so there's some little itty bitty kind of fun things so um, we'll play a game for those later all right so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna move that one up there I'm gonna use like I said the victory collection from close to my heart and that comes with this really pretty argyle And on the back is a camouflage. And then this actually has a knotted pattern to it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's really kind of textury. And then on the back is kind of some ledger paper. And then this has got some fleur de lis. And then on the other side, it's got this nice little winged here. Oh, sorry, um, winged piece and the yeah. And then of course they have the zip pieces, the zip strips. This one says "Full of life, determination, best of times, and genuine." Um, this one has an argyle print. And then this one has stars. All right, so, and then this paper also comes with, um, you get two sheets of each of that paper. You get a sheet of barn red. You get a sheet of bamboo. You get a sheet of outdoor denim, two sheets of outdoor denim, and two sheets of chocolate with this collection and this is more than enough you could actually probably make two or three books so I think we're gonna go ahead and use the chocolate as our base and I just need to pull up my little yeah mm. so that is really cool we're gonna cut <laughs> um, our first piece at five and a half so we've got a five and a half by twelve and a five and a half by twelve so we're gonna need two of those we're gonna need a piece and I need to look really quick to make sure I get the rest of them um, we're gonna need um, two pieces that are four and a half by, or five and a half, sorry, that's five and a half by four. That's two pieces, five and a half by four inches. We are going to need one piece that is four by five and a half for the front cover, and then we are going to need um, a two pieces of five and a half by six inches. And those measurements are on my blog over at scrapandstampcreations.blogspot.com. I'm going to put that there. Oh, thank you. Yay. Um, that is awesome. Thank you very much, Chai. All right, so now that we've pretty much cut those pieces, let's go ahead and build our album base, and then we can cut the other pieces as we decide where they're going to go. So, 
So I encourage you to have a scoring board or at least something to score with. You can score with your trimmer, um, any of those kind of things, but definitely need something to score with. And we're going to start scoring with the 12 by 12 or the five and a half by 12 inch pieces. Okay. But this is the scoring part that's important there, die. Okay? So anyway, we're going to score at 2 inches, at 4 inches, at 8 inches, and at 10. Okay? Do that again on the second piece. We're going to score at 2 inches, 4 inches, 8 inches and 10 inches. Okay? Now we're going to take on the long side and we are going to um, score and because you won't see the score lines, they're all hidden, we're going to go ahead and score all the way down. So at the one and a half inch mark, we're going to score all the way down. And we're going to flip it over. <laughs> and we're going to do that again. All right. So again, on the long side or on the short side, the five and a half inch side, we're going to take and score all the way down at one and a half inches. We're going to flip it over and again, score at one and a half inches. Okay. Yes. All right. Does everybody have those? Now we're going to use the five and a half by six inch pieces. Yes, you do both pieces because um, one of the car one of the pieces, one of the twelve inch pieces, is this side, and the other twelve inch piece is this side. So when it all opens up like this, it's over 24 inches. It's 24, 28, 32 maybe? Okay. Yeah, I think it's 32 inches. All right, so on the six inch pieces, with the six inches coming across here, we are gonna score at two inches. on each piece. Okay? And we're done with the scoring board for right now. All right, so now you can do the next part with a ruler and an X-Acto knife, or you can do the next part with um, with your paper trimmer. It is completely up to you. There is no right or wrong way to do it. Um, and it's just however you feel more comfortable. I think people will be able to see it more if I do it this way. So that is why I'm choosing to use the X-Acto knife. So starting at the two inch line, there's you've got it scored in a half an inch. And then this is a two inch in. We are going to take and go from 2 inches to 10 inches and stop. So we're cutting a hole in the middle. But I line the paper up with the grid here. Because I'm good, but I'm not that good. Hi, Brenda. All right. So we are going to start at the two inch mark and stop at the 10 inch mark. And we're gonna do that on each piece. So that you get these. Okay? 
both sides of each piece. Yeah, so you end up with this. Okay? And you're going to do both pieces. Is everybody still with us? is the end of the cutting for that. Hi Dawn! All right, now we need, all right, yay. All right, everybody got them cut? How are you, Shannon? All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fold on the score lines and give them a decent crease, the first one and the end one. Okay. So now, oh, takes practice. <laughs> Alright, so next is the kind of fun part. So you've got three pieces. If you're holding it, the first piece goes back on the score line so it creates a valley. The second one creates a mountain. The third one creates a valley. So now you have something that looks like this. Okay. Now you move to the next one and we're going to do a mountain, a valley, and a mountain. Okay? And if you close it all up, it makes the card. Okay? And if you scored pretty quick, correctly it's going to be pretty close to being that okay well I'll show you on the next one so we've got one that's all closed up okay so we're going to fold one side up and score it we're going to fold the other side back okay Hi, Laura. All right. So the next one is we're going to have a valley fold, a mountain fold, a valley fold. So it ends up looking like this. On the next one, we're going to have a mountain fold, a valley fold, and a mountain fold. So when you pull it all together, it ends up like this. How are we doing? Do we have two pieces that look like this? Awesome. Okay. They should be, you should be able to get them exactly, basically the opposite, okay, of each other. Hi, 
how's everybody else doing? Okay. Is everybody else working too? Hey Tony, how are you doing? Alright, then we have the pieces that are six inches across and scored at two inches. Alright, and we are going to go ahead and fold those and score them. These are our front flaps. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to add some tape to the back side here. Some good old score tape. And I'm putting the score tape on the inside of the fold. are the taped pieces there. I'm also going to put um, four rows of score tape on the back of the um, four by five and a half inch pieces, both, the, both pieces. These pieces are actually the connector that's going to take both of them. Oh, good. I'm glad, Crystal. everybody did everybody get everything cut and scored I can't see the social stream, so just so you know, somebody will have to pop back over into the chat if you guys have questions or you're not having a problem. All right. I put them on the four by five and a half inch flat pieces. So I have tape on the, the two inch part of the four by, or the five and a half by six inch pieces. And then these ones as well. Okay. All right, everybody want to look up a minute? Just because we're going to go ahead and attach these two card pieces together. In the back of your card, you should have two flat pieces that touch each other. Okay, so this one opens and this one opens, and these two pieces touch each other. They like each other. 
They're going to be even more friendly once we glue them together with score tape. Okay. So I'm peeling off the score tape off of my four by five and a half inch piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and line it up on my grid mat so that I get it in here kind of straight. And I'm going to go ahead and put these at the two inches in. Lay down and glue. Okay. And then the second piece we should be able to easily line right up. It's kind of like when you're making Catherine's books and you kind of put the pieces together so that they don't end up kind of up and down. So now our book is now attached together. We now have a 12 by 24 inch piece. The second piece that has the score tape on it, um, just because I didn't want to see those lines and I had this piece left goes right over the top to make it look like one huge long continuous piece right you guys are really quiet Well, I just want to make sure everybody is kind of getting where they need, that they, they're getting what they need. Because I don't want people to be kind of intimidated because this is really, it really is pretty easy. You just have to, okay. The two pieces were just, okay. <laughs> All right, there should be two ends. You have one card and one card. The two 12 by 12 should have, they meet in the middle. And what you're going to do is you're going to put one, you're going to make a sandwich. You're going to put one of the four by five and a half inch pieces on the bottom. And then you're going to put the other one on the top. So basically you're just making a sandwich. So you're going to have a part that's going to have like three pieces of cardstock. In the, in the back. Does that, does everybody understand? <laughs> well, I thought that they were making you bratwurst and corn zucchini salad and like specialty potato salad, Diane. Is everybody there? Okay. So now we're going to take... Oh, well... <laughs> well, the corn chat... Well, no, because they put bacon in both of them. My boys are huge bacon fans, and since Albertsons had a sale on bacon last week... I bought like a five pound thing of bacon and now they want bacon and everything. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the front covers on. So we're gonna go ahead and take the, um, the glue or the, the our adhesive strips and we are gonna go ahead and adhere this this is the side that's two inches with no cut. It's on the front. What we're gonna do is we're gonna adhere it right to our underneath. And do not cross the fold line because you want it to fold nicely. 
okay? So don't cross the fold line. And when you close it, now you have a cover. Nice flat cover. Okay, we're gonna do the second side. We're going to line it up, not cross the fold. And we're going to stick it down. Okay? Now when it closes up, we have a flat cover, kind of a gatefold flat cover. And amazingly enough, your base of your mini is all done. Are you there, Tony? Did you get there, Lucinda? Who else is cutting along? Anybody else cutting along and doing along? <laughs> all right, well how about we give away a thing of flowers since we now have the album all done in 37 minutes. Shall we give away the Pemberley ones? Or shall we give away this, the Dottie for you? Which one should we give away first? Pemberley? Lots of lace and glitter and all kinds of things? Or shall we give away the Dottie for you? Pick. Love the Pemberley. Pemberley. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's see. How many people do we have? It looks like I have 15 on. All right. So Laura, because you're stuck in the chat, you can play too, but you just have to post your number in the social stream and I will flip over and check to make sure that it's not a duplicate of somebody else. So we are going to, first I have to find my sticky pad. Hi, how was dinner? Daddy's still cooking. Daddy is still cooking dinner? All right, how about we give away the Pemberley set first? Tony, Tony okay. not, some people are watching Tony. We're gonna give away the Pemberley set first. Lord I'm gonna Lord type Lord. the word go. Martha, you can send me an email. And that we're going to pick a number between 1 and 20. 1 and 20. Uh, no, when I type the word go, Tony. You guys are so funny. I haven't even chosen a number yet. <laughs> you saw my hand move, and that is so funny. I got one. All right. I am going to pick a number. All right, guys, I have my number. Now you can go. Here, 
Harrison, please go upstairs. Try. Yes, and try. Well, ask Daddy to help. All right. I am going to hit the word stop. Oh, okay. All right. So, I do have a winner. My winner is number 18. Who is number 18? And number 18 would be Chai. Shy. Shy. All right. So if you could send me a PM <laughs> with your address, I will be sending out this really pretty set of Pemberley um, to you. Name's right on it. Woohoo! All right. All right. Everybody caught up with where we need to be? I know what color does. I don't know what color does what. Here, simple. Woohoo! Does purple and. <laughs> okay, you need a prize for sticking with it. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm making a new color. All right. Yay. Okay. All right. So now we need our papers to decide which ones are going to be our covers and all of that kind of stuff. So, for our front covers, Actually, I'm going to do a little bit of fussy cutting, I think, because I think I want this piece here to come across my cover. So, I'm going to fussy cut just a touch, I think. We start with red. You know what? No, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to use the art, the the plaid here. Yeah. I'm going to use the plaid, and I'm actually going to fussy cut that piece what color, out. What color am I making? I don't know. So my first piece is. Here you have my green Five and a quarter. And then we're going to cut two pieces at three and three quarters. Okay? And these pieces go right here on the front. I got new colors. One more. You know okay, if we take the green out of this. All right. Take the blue. So that's our first one for pattern number one as well. Just need to make sure I remember where these go. We are also going to need a one and a one and three quarters. by two and a quarter. 
And I'm having to flip back and forth. I did not print out the extras here. Oh, and I put mine backwards. I am oh, making well, that's wreath. okay. Those are these pieces right here in the center. Basically everything now is just kind of a puzzle piece, putting things sure in places. What, what is it? And then again for pattern number one, we're going to need four pieces that are one and a quarter by one and three quarters. Uh, I favorite color is always green, Harrison. Hey! I'm excited! Thanks! Yeah. And then these four pieces go in the little squares above. says hi to. Summer knew that I didn't say hi to. Oh, I know. Some people starting your classes late. Yep, some people come into the class late for a few minutes. All right. I want to go ahead and put um, the photo mats in just because it makes me um, less nervous and I'm going to go ahead and use the barn red and these photo mats are uh, five and a quarter by three and three quarters and you need um, three of them so the five and a quarter by three and three quarters How many winners? Do you how many how many winners did you have? I have one winner so far. We'll do another prize here in a minute. And number twelve. Do you have any twelve? I don't know. We can. So this one goes here as a photo mat. You're making one for me. For you? One of your perfects. I need. <laughs> Um, he's time. actually, um, a photo. um, Harrison is, yes, uh, Ty, can you post my blog again? Cause the cutting guides and the directions are good. Um, actually Diane, he is playing with a bunch of, um, thank you guys. He's playing with a bunch of crayons in a tin container, actually. Harrison, could you stop please? Or take them in the other room. Show them one more art. Oh, I would love to. Uh, right now, all he's doing is combining colors. 
Diane would like a picture. Could you draw her a picture for her for a holiday for her? Well, maybe for her fridge. Mm, mail it to me. We can mail it to her. Yeah, you'd have to draw a picture. Right now, he's just really combining colors. And that, he I told me the mean, other day that I taught him how to do that when he was little. And I'm like, how little? What photo would she like? I don't know. How about... I bet you she'd like a picture of an ambulance. I'm going to draw her a person. A person? Well, why don't you draw it on the big paper? I'm going to... Wow, Diane, you get a person. I never get people. All right. The can you next. Give this to Diane, please. I can. Let me see what it looks like. It's a person. I made it. Okay. Can that you, would look like a person. Can you take it out of my book? Yeah, you can take it out of the book. Here, right. give it to me and I'll show it to her. And he needs it to get in there. Does the next one need to... Well, Diane, here's your person. It's a me. I made it for you. It's a picture for your fridge. One big eye. One big eye. <laughs> All right. Can you give it to her? Yep. In package? <laughs> I can, honey. I'm All gonna right. Make her, uh, who would else like Hold a on. Oh who goodness, everybody in this thing. Does Tony <laughs> want a picture? Tony would love a picture. We have a box for her anyway. So you can draw people pictures if you'd like. Would you like a giant eye, Tony? <laughs> jo <laughs> Tony, do you need a giant eye? <laughs> do you want a person? Uh, I'm draw Dane. Oh, you guys, this is too much fun. And there... And this is Damien. And I'm sure most of you have been around understand that, you know, these you are these are masterpieces considering nobody ever get, I, I never I get a draw, picture. This so. is Damien. I made um, it Damien. I made this is, I draw, I drew one of her, draw her son Damien. Oh, you drew a picture of Damien. Great. Alright, I have to go back to work. Okay, you keep doing. And you need this out of the book? Well, you keep drawing pictures, okay? All right. So, also, we're going to need two Here pieces. You Thank you. Here, Tony. Here's Damien. Damien. Um, yep. We're going to need two pieces of two and a quarter by three and three quarters. Who would else love a picture from me? Harrison, I'll give it away with the next set of flowers, okay? Three and three quarters, and uh, two and a quarter, and we need two of those. I'm making stamps. Okay. That would be good. Who would else love a picture? All right. <laughs> um, apparently, Trinity's going to need a photo, too, Harrison. I'm going to get her one. Just Tony. How about my friend, um, let's see if they're my Alright, so these little pieces go here in the long spots. See, what photo do you need? Who else like a photo? <sighs> Whoever. Go ahead, make them. I'm going to make one for, um... Somebody hmm. needs pants and a shirt. So could you make sure that, um... I have pants. I know, but make sure your people have pants and a shirt. I know. I'm crazy, crazy that I would want them to have clothes. Amy wants a picture. Who would else like a picture? I don't know. All right, I'm guys. I'm going to Martha. You're going to send one? We could send one to Martha. She would like that. Heather's going to need one. And Heather's going to need one, too. Okay. I'm going to start with this. Heather have so, any sons? I don't know. Or you can make our husband. All right, so I am going to use the flip side of flip one of my flip. of this plaid piece, the camouflage, as our piece, and I need four of them. 
that are um, one and a quarter by three and three quarters. In there, for Heather. Can you just this, this show this to Heather? Okay, hold on. I made this one for Heather. One and a quarter by three and three Here quarters. You go. Do you need it, Harrison? I just need you to wait. Who would else like to follow up a picture? There's lots of them over there, I'm Harrison. I make one for Marfa. Okay. Does Marfa have any sons? I think she's got some grandkids. Let me draw a picture of one of her grandkids. I don't know. The kid looking. <laughs> oh. Yes, Heather has three boys. Oh, that's, that's not good. That's the adult look. I gotta get her a new picture. That's not good at all. Oh. I'm hoping that's my husband coming to save me. Oh, okay. What? Are we eating inside or outside? I'm eating in here. You are eating in here. And Harrison, you can make one for Nathaniel. Nathaniel, one of our sons. Nathaniel's one of Laura's, is Laura's son. Just for Laura. Okay. I dropped, what, this one, he likes stripes. Laura, just for Laura, I'm just sending one to her. Okay. Wow. Here's what, can you show it to her? Oh my gosh, you got stripes. Who is this one for? Heather, right? Yes. This is Heather's. Goodness, we better write some names on these or I'm going to lose them. I'm going to write my, their names. Okay. You're going to write their names? I can, use, can you borrow the pen, please? Yep. Okay. That's her, Heather. Inside or outside? Inside. I'm going to eat here. Yeah, he wants to eat here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then I need... Yep. These will be one Let's and go. a quarter by one and three quarters. Thank you. And we're going to need four of them as well. Harrison is having dinner and taking a bathroom break. <laughs> He's so funny. All right, so these little pieces go on the ends right next to the other little pieces. Yeah, he's just so funny. Um, he doesn't, he doesn't draw, you know, like normal kids will draw pictures and everything. Um, and that he, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> that's it, that's it. Um, um, he just, we have a gush of language that has just arrived again. So if anybody knows how hard it is with a kid like Harrison, the language piece is so bef behind at times. And we've just had this huge gush of language again, which is just incredible. But it, it also kind of takes us by surprise occasionally. <laughs> All right, so this would be, I'm going to use the green here, and this piece would be um, pattern number uh, four, which is going to be five and a half, or five and a quarter, five and a quarter. Really, I need to print these directions out the next time. I just wrote them on my computer as I went through, and I'm having a hard time flipping between the screens. Five and a quarter by one and three quarters and you're going to need two of those
uses five and a quarter by one and three quarters. And these go here. These go here. And the only little piece that we have here left here is this one here. And actually, I'm thinking this one should have. Removing things. We're going to stick this one here. And then we're going to take and put the camouflage ones here. Or the green ones. The green ones. And those again would be one and three quarters by two and a quarter. Right? Actually, we're going to have to pop these the other way. Because I need this one to pop out. Valley, valley, out in situation is that you are going to want this piece up. So if your piece does not have this piece up, you need to refold. And it's because I wasn't paying attention right. Okay, so if you just, um, that has to be a mountain fold and a valley. A um, valley and these are both mountains. And then these close right back up still. All right. All right, is everybody still with us? go ahead and fussy cut my piece here. Okay. Well, and I tried to go slow, you guys. <laughs> that is probably my hardest thing. I struggle with that a lot. Um, I just happen to be a fast crafter. I really, I really am. So I'm going to fussy cut the little um, piece out here. <laughs> and I'm going 
I have to dig through my stash for some different pieces of things. This is probably one of the quickest, easiest projects. The next thing I am thinking, which will be another really quick and easy project, um, I'm going to do uh, something with the close to my heart flip flaps. Oh! My son is having a problem. They will live. They will make it. <laughs> yeah. Well, and the cool part is with it is it just takes some time and some finesse. If you've got the cuts right, which you do, you just have to kind of think about how it's supposed to do, how it's supposed to come up. So it's really, it really is pretty easy. It's just a matter of kind of, um, kind of seeing where it goes. And I know that sounds crazy. Yay! So now I'm just fussy cutting the wings out of this bird wing thing. So. That's what Tony said, and she just finished hers. She said she was really slow. <laughs> yeah, I am the same way in lots of things. Some things I can kind of follow along, especially if I have an idea. Or if it's somebody that I've watched before that I've seen their style. And that and then I'm pretty easy to go I can kind of follow along so now when like Catherine makes a um, when, uh, Catherine over on the scrap beach when she makes a box or a book or something like that usually I'm able to follow right along and do right along with her because I I've done enough of her projects and that in order to kind of work with her that way so all right But a lot of times I'm a watcher. I'll be working on something else. <laughs> uh, well, and that's one of the reasons I try really hard to get a cutting guide up. I know that I should try and get it up the night before. Um, but I really struggled on what to do tonight if I was going to do this project or I was going to do a couple of other different things. And so that's why the cutting guide didn't go up too early. And I um, ended up working in the yard with my boys because I hadn't, I hadn't had a chance to get that done. So my goal is to try and get it to a point where we can get there faster. All right, there should be one more piece of brown. And then um, if you take your score tape and go along one edge and then kind of in the middle on one side. Ah. <laughs> 
That would be good. I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. And then I'm going to grab some pop dots, wherever those happen to have gotten hidden. Let's see. I think there's some right here. Well, that way you don't get glue on your other gate piece. So if you do the one side and then the other, then you don't get glue. it too. I'm going to find a zip strip that's got the words and we'll give it some words. Once I get the front cover done, what we'll do is we'll give away another set of flowers. If I can get the backs off of these. There we go. That one really did not want to come off. These dimensionals are having some issues. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I am really happy. I got my webcam from my bank. You know, they used to give away toasters. Now I earned enough thing to do. This is the one. <laughs> I think I'm going to use the one that says best of times. Mm, I'm going to cut these little guys off. I think I'm going to take a piece of my scrap or at least the take a piece of this barn red. Is that long enough? Nope, I don't like that. What I really want is a piece of this blue. your patterns posted. The um 
the this one yeah the the directions are all there and everything so yeah you can go to the blog and get all the pieces I don't have I don't have like specific instructions and that written out. The scores are all written out, so that's good. I have them, but it doesn't say... I don't know what WXI means. Oh, width and length. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. Oh. Um, I tried, but I'm not really sure. I will, I will go back and look. I'll go back and look. And if it's not, I will I will kind of put them all in the right direction. Yeah, I guess that would make a pa make a make a difference, huh? I tend not to use a lot of directional paper. Yeah, the cardstock piece is the biggest one. If you can get the cardstock pieces together, then it works really well. Harrison, no! Um, that doesn't work. <laughs> Can't open my book. <laughs> my son is jumping upstairs and it sounds like the whole entire house is going to fall on our heads. I I fixed it though. It's called creative license. It's not really a boo-boo. It's just creative license. All right. So then um, I just decorated um, this one here with stickers Hi, Mom. and different things. Hi. Do you know my book? I don't know where your book is. Did you eat your dinner? Yes. Okay. I didn't like that. Dinner because it was. I didn't. I don't. But so they didn't like the that some mashed potatoes. But there were no mashed potatoes. Yes, there was. There's mashed potatoes, or were or was it potato salad? Potato salad. Okay. I didn't like today's dinner. You know what? What kind of dinner do you like besides cheeseburgers? I like cheeseburgers for dinner. I know you do. You're welcome. Um, okay. Like trees and benches, patio salad. I'm we'll figure it out when it's quiet and I'll be making more of them. That's the cool part is that I really like the fact that you can add the photos, set it out, and it works really well. What else like a photo? Please. I need to finish up. Okay. So I have two more sets of flowers to give away. I like um, mine because it has photos of me and my life. You and your life. I'm going to put photos of you and your life in it. I have that? photos of you and your life. Where from? I don't know. I'm gonna make photos I have some stamps and stuff. I was thinking I yeah, might pull them out. On your Harrison, please go upstairs. I don't need to. Do you have any more 
your people. I need you to go upstairs. What I need to finish my show. Now you sit here. No, because you're just talking away to me. I need you. I need you to sit. Excuse me. Yes, that's usually how you interrupt people, but at this point in time, you're not. Please go upstairs. I will make a list, and you can make a bunch of people tomorrow. Okay? I have to miss that privilege. Can I interrupt? Just go here. I'm going to find a better attitude. Thank you. <laughs> He's going to go find a better attitude. He'll be back in a few minutes. Just so you know. Alright guys. I have. <laughs> I have two sets of flowers. Um, that I'm going to give away. Tonight as well. So again. In, if you're in the social stream. Excuse you are me. welcome to play. Excuse me. And. I better attitude. What? I want a better attitude. I understand. But I'm going to draw people. Well, right now, I'm going to, I'm choosing, okay, go draw people in the living room. You know what? America's Got Talent's coming on soon. Can you watch it? All right. I am going to pick a number go between, the, go Harrison, between 1 and 20. Let me write it down. I'm going to give away this set right here that has an orange and yellow flower and everything. And... All right, go. Okay. Martha, you need to pick again. Okay. I'm, I'm being quiet. You're being quiet. Thank you. I'm being quiet because of your show. All right. Okay. Well, and I had already, let's see. Lucinda, is your number 3 or 13? I'll write her number down. I right, 13. Yep, there you are. She number 13. My number 13. Okay. You find her. So, my, my winner is actually... Number 18. No, I didn't pick 18. All right, my winner is number three, and that would be Martha, who sent me an email with the number three. That's why I needed Goldie's number. So, Martha, I have your address. I'm very excited. So these are coming to you. See, it was a good thing I didn't mail your catalog yet. All right, guys. I got, I got one more set for another winner. For one more winner, and I am going to pick a number between one and twenty. You could just wait, please. All right, and go. Thank you. you. Tony, you need to read Tony, different I number. One more phone. And Goldie <laughs> and Lucinda. <laughs> it was 20. <laughs> That's too funny. Tony, you gotta pick another one. <laughs> And what's Laura's in the social stream? And you have one more winner. Number three is the last five. 
All right, Laura's in the social stream is five. And here I'm. All right. We come get your picture. Please. And my number is nineteen. And that believes the picture. And that would be Lori in Montana. Lori in Montana. And let's see. Do I still have your address? I do. You're out of mm -hmm. you're out of the winners though. And that devolves the picture. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. And your winners are over. And my winner is over. Yep. I'm excited. Alright guys, is there anything else you guys would like to see tonight or anything? Um, actually, I think the next project we're going to do uses the flip flaps from Close to My Heart. And that's what I... Thank you. I really... It's a really nice oh, gift. And it can, be, it can be for a man or... Harrison, please go upstairs. I need to be quiet. Alright, then the next time I have to tell you to be quiet, you have to go upstairs. I'm going to show you. So this is the one for today, um, and I really think it's very masculine. You can stick some photos, some journaling, some stickers, the little pieces and stuff in order to do a really nice uh, Father's Day card. Um, it could be a really nice gift um, to send to a family member who doesn't see you guys very often. Um, it would be great for a serviceman who is serving overseas since it's Memorial Day in order to um, kind of give him something nice to be able to, to carry and share with his friends and that who are, are homesick too. All right, so that is that. I that's am excited. Good, the other project that I was thinking that we would work on next week could also be a Father's Day project. And this is using an old paper pack from Close to My Heart. But basically on page... Watching the video. Oh, I'll, I'll stick around. Don't worry. Let me find them for the page that they're on so you can see. All right. Give me just a second. I'm gonna make some winners. You're gonna make some winners? I'm gonna make some um, like Chris it for the like, got gifts for Hi. Hi. I'd like you to take them. Um well I'm having to talk over the top of him, which is causing me some grief. Yes, Harrison, you are you are Where are we going? You are interrupting mommy's class, so you need to come upstairs. We're not going All upstairs. right, We're not I just going saw them. Are we going somewhere? Oh, yep, that is an old paper pack from Close to My Heart. If you guys watch the clearance section on my website, which is um, jerryannarmstrong.mycTMH.com, a lot of times they'll start... Um, releasing they'll start they'll they'll discontinue paper and then they'll put them on the website until their entire collection is depleted and everything and that's the only way to get it and so sometimes you can find the older papers and stuff that'll come up in the clearance section on my blog or on my website from close to my heart all right now where in the world are the flip flaps Well, Jiminy Christmas. Oh, they're on page 122. They're memory protector flip flaps. And what they look like, these are the ones for, that are five by, or four by, four by six. And what they do is you, um, this little book here has got a cardstock cover and a cardstock back. 
and when you open it up it's got little page protectors and these page protectors are made out of really really nice um, uh, material the same material that the page protectors from close to my heart are made out of and the cool thing about them is that they are self adhesive so can we work on the album that came in my consultant kit I'm confused alright is that the the um, bookmark album 122 all right so the cool thing is is that these come in a package of 15 there are different sizes there's sizes for scrapbook um, pages and everything the cool part is is that um, they come with an adhesive along the side and so you pull the adhesive and you can attach these right over the top of your page protectors or, or that in order to add more pages to your layouts. So that'll be something I'll probably show you coming up um, eventually as well. They are really, really super nice. And I think that they are like four bucks. They're, uh, these ones, the four by six ones are 15. There are 15 of them in a package for $3.95. I will be also doing a project coming up that will use the 6x6 flip flaps and I'll show you one of those, I'll show you that project that's coming up. But I thought this one would be good um, to kind of do because again it's a nice little um, brag book. Um, it would be nice for a wedding gift or a new baby, that kind of thing. Um, and again using the memory, the flip flaps. And then the 6x6 six six, um, are brand new and they are $4.95. But give me a minute and I'll go grab the other project to show so that you guys can see that. It is the cutest little purse album. And before... Um, <laughs> um, before I would you I would make these albums um, they make really great albums for a little girl's birthday party or a baby shower or a bridal shower they work really great for those um, and I used to use them uh, making them with six by six page protectors from close to my heart and we retired the six by six album so we don't have those anymore um, but the 6x6 six six page, or uh, the flip flaps, will take the place of those. So, basically, it is a cute little purse. And when you open it up, it is full of layouts. Cute little butterflies. Hey! Hi Susan. Well, and I'm just about done. And uh, so it's got nice little places for different pieces and stuff. And so we will be using the six by six flip flaps, and we'll make one of these albums because it really is really cute. And that it's a nice little gift kind of thing. Um, this one was Easter um, with the Easter colors really old paper I cut out beautiful out of my Cricut and everything so there's this one but the other thing is is that if you find a collection now I got the handle this little cheap handle I got um, uh, you know what we'll I'll probably use my bind it all um, however there's lots and lots and lots of options for um, for binding so we can definitely come up with you know some different kinds of ways oh I'm glad so there's this cute little one but the other thing is is that um, if you've got stickers and things you know to kind of be looking um, so then we have this 
this little album as well. And this is a set, this paper is from Creative Imaginations, really old, but they came with really nice stickers and things. So Bo Bunny that does stickers and things, or any of the Close to My Heart packs that have stickies or rub-ons or anything, these work really great with that. So here's the cover, and the handle is just from Joann's. When you open it up, there's a layout here. And then, again, just some really simple um, pages to put, page, to put um, pictures in. These would be really great for beach projects. So this is, um, those are two of the, the next upcoming projects that I plan on doing with you guys. Um, Close to My Heart has, um, yeah, Close to My Heart has in, right now, the papers that are available, I'm placing an order tomorrow. And I think I actually might use the Roxy collection to make this. So I need to get that done within the next couple of, probably um, sometime in June, we'll do this one. Because the paper and the stickies and stuff won't be available after that. But the Roxy collection is on page 62 of the catalog. It's got the black plaid. It's got some zebra stripe. It's got some florals and stuff, so I thought that the new dies that I'm getting from Christine, so Christine, if you want to go ahead and pop your blog in there for the dies from Cherry Lynn, um, those flowers would look really pretty um, with this project. And, um, but I also liked the fact that it, it had a plaid that was really cute, and, um, the uh, the different pieces so you're welcome um, so we've got the zebra print but we also have the plaid we've got some floral I thought it would be a really good collection to use for a purse all right so um, I'm gonna peek over here all right so that is kind of what I have for tonight. I am really excited everybody came to join and hang out and that um, Sue we made, um, I posted everything up on my blog, but what we made tonight was this, this booklet here out of the victory paper and it opens up and it makes a really, really great um, uh, project. So I'm really glad that you could come too. And that um, the cutting guides and everything for this project, for the paper and all, is on my blog. And Lucinda, I'll get over there and make sure that it is um, width and height, or width and length, to make sure everything's okay. Um, and that and we'll kind of go from there thank you guys so much for coming tonight and we will um, see you again on Monday night I'll be getting these packages out in the mail to the ladies who won I'm very excited to be sharing those things with you and um, let's see uh, tomorrow is Tuesday I know that um, Susan will be streaming sometime on Wednesday. Christine will stream on Thursday. Um, I can't remember when your stream is, Chai. Um, and everything. So I wanted to let people know that there are quite a few other streams out there and people who have popped in. Um, Laura does a daily scrap hey, chat best. and things like that as hey, well. Mom. So, um, I look forward to seeing everyone again next week, and I'm sure I'll see you around Ustream this week. So Have a great week, and I will yeah. talk to you all soon. I found Good a night. Box. I found a, I found some, a commercial at Spokane.